Hello, in my previous video I talked about the updates to Perfected in Perfected 6 and I said that for uh, people with the professional subscription, which is what most people have, um, there aren't actually any updates to the functionality. There are um, a few uh, bug fixes are mentioned and but the functionality itself is the same. What has changed is that they've included a new style sheet uh, which is the Microsoft style. So let's have a look at the the list. Um, we can see the Microsoft style in here. Okay, um, your list will probably be shorter than mine because this one includes um, my own style sheets. And um, in addition to the new Microsoft style, they've also updated some of the existing styles. Um, by way of example, I'm going to look at the United Nations style, but if you use one of the other style sheets that they provide, I'd recommend watching this so you can see the kind of things that might be missing maybe. So let's open this one up. And um, you can see the updates o on the UN editorial website. You can see a list of updates. And the... Um, the version provided by Perfected at the time of recording this video is updated up to these entries on 22nd of June. Uh, so the other entries since 9th of September have not yet been updated, which is fair enough. We can't expect them to make the changes in real time. Um, these things will take time. Um, but yeah, just be aware of these things. A big change actually that's been made, a word that comes up in a lot of UN texts is this healthcare. Healthcare is now written as one word. Um, if you attend my masterclass, I'll be providing you with my own version of the UN style sheet. Um, and in that version, you will have healthcare written as one word and it will flag it if you've written it with a hyphen or if you've written it as two words. Um, but let's look at some of the other things. So um, there are actually some some of the older updates have not been included. They've somehow been missed off. So um, if we look at the spelling um, tab, for instance, we've got in there, we'll find benefit sharing, which is always hyphenated, uh, irrespective of whether another noun comes after it. Um, but if we go to the style sheet and I go to the filter and I type in benefit, we'll see um, we'll see that uh, benef um, benefit sharing is not in there. So the version provided by Perfected will not um, will not flag uh, benefit sharing if you've written it as two words. Maybe they'll include it in future, but at the time of recording on uh, 4th of November 2024 um, it hasn't been included um, let's look at some other ones um, so uh, also we've got non-conforming which should always be written as one word um, but again if we go to edit the style and I type non-conforming uh, we see non-conformist is in there, but not non-conforming. Um, is that covered by a prefix rule, maybe? Let's have a look. Okay, well, th the prefix rule says to write it with a hyphen. So actually, Perfected is going to flag non-conforming if you've written it correctly according to the UN rule, non-conforming as one word. Perfect it is actually going to flag it and tell you that you should hyphenate it, which is the opposite of what you should be doing. Um, another one that's not been included, again, you can find this on the on the spelling list, subblock. Subblock should be hyphenated. Um, though again, this might be covered by the prefix. Let's see. Uh, no, again, this is going to actually, Perfect it is going to tell you to do the opposite of what you should be doing. It's going to tell you to write it closed, but uh, but actually you should be hyphenating it. Um, another one, workload sharing. It's not in there. We see workload, 
but we don't see um, workload sharing, which should be written like this with a hyphen. Again, you'll find this in the spelling list um, of uh, the UN, just to show you that, that I'm not making it up. It's, it, it's written here, workload sharing. Um, then there are, there are missing rules that basically things, rules that are not in the spelling, capitalization and abbreviations list. Um, for example, there's a rule with figures you see here it says where there are more than 20 figures, they should be numbered with Arabic numerals. Normally we number figures, uh, uh, it the UN numbers figures with Roman numerals, but if there's more than 20, then it's Arabic numerals. So in my version, I've added a, um, a rule that will flag um, figure, 20, uh, figure 21, but with 21 written in uh, Roman numerals. And then it will say, because there are more than 20 figures, you should use Arabic numerals. Um, we don't have such a rule in the, um, I in the, um, the version provided by Perfectit. Um, uh, another thing is uh, just these little kind of rules that are maybe not specified in anywhere in the style sheet, but anybody who's worked for the UN will know. Um, for example, um, I've set mine to flag due to. Uh, with the UN, you can only write due to if there's an antecedent. Um, so it will flag that for you to be able to check it. Um, then other little rules such as um, using uh, the name of a city um, without the name of the country uh, if it's not a capital city. So I've got a rule in mind that will flag Abidjan if you've not written Côte d'Ivoire after it. S um, because we have to write Abidjan Côte d'Ivoire because Abidjan is not the capital city of Côte d'Ivoire. The capital is Yamasucro. And if you write Yamasucro comma Côte d'Ivoire, again, my version will flag this um the uh perfected version won't and i've added rules for quite a few of these places where it's a big major city that a lot of people think is the capital and is not um lagos nigeria for example um if you write lagos without nigeria it will flag it it will tell you to add it if you write abuja comma nigeria it will tell you to remove comma nigeria um there are still some rules that are a little bit um, outdated, if you like. For example, if I type in Macedonia, we see we've got a rule there for not using the possessive. And we see we've got a capitalization, a phrases rule for the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. There's no mention of North Macedonia in the, in the uh, UN style sheet provided by Perfectit, which is the name now that we're supposed to use, North Macedonia. And the same is true for the other countries that have changed names. So uh, we still got rules for um, Czech Republic. We've got a rule there for Czech Republic um, to avoid the possessive. But if you use it with Czechia, um, then it's not going to flag the use of the apostrophe. I've also got a rule in my version that if you write Czech Republic, it will tell you to use Czechia. The same for Turkey. If you use Turkey, it will tell you, in with my version, it will tell you to use Turkia instead. With the uh, version provided by Perfectit, we've still got Turkey apostrophe S. We've not got Turkia apostrophe S. Um, so, yeah, so we've got some outdated rules that are still in there. Um, a few other rules I've added that are not in the editorial manual. Um, or oh, uh, Netherlands, changing it to Kingdom of the Netherlands, um, th and the other former country names that I've mentioned. Um, now, um, the a big feature of mine is what I call smart wildcards. Now, perfect it to their credit, they've realized that they need to be adding more wi wildcard rules to their uh, style sheets, um, but we, we've only got six such rules in this version and five of them are basically checking the same thing we, they're checking for 
capitalization of al, bin, bint, el or ibn uh, in Arabic names where they appear after Mr. or Ms. or, m or Miss or Mrs. Um, and then the, the other one they've got is this check for dates. Um, so if you're writing um, you know, 11 forward slash 02 forward slash 2022, um, it will tell you to change that to, um, well, it won't tell you what to change it to, but it will tell you that you need to change it. Um, but there are so many more rules that could be added here. Um, speaking of dates, uh, so I've created a rule that um, if you have, for example, um, uh, 7 to 8 September, um, if you work for the UN, you'll know that we're actually supposed to write 7 and 8 September. So I've added rules to flag this. It will flag any date in the year um, where you've used uh, a hyphen or an end dash between the two numbers and the two numbers are consecutive. It will tell you to change them to and and it, it will include a fix button so that you can fix it. Um, now there are rules. Um, it's if I look in always find, you'll see there's a rule for United Nations Sustainable Development uh, Cooperation Framework. This was added on um, this was added by the UN on twen in 2019, and so we've got a capitalization rule for this. Um, so if you write this with, um, you know, sustainable development cooperation framework in lowercase, it will tell you that you should use initial caps, which is great. But there are no other checks for uh, this item. So if you've written UN sustainable development cooperation framework, it's not going to flag it. If you've written cooperation with a hyphen, it's not going to flag it. With my version, it will flag any of these ways that you may have miswritten it. Um, I've used what I call smart wildcards. I will explain these in full in the um, in the masterclass. Uh, but basically, I've used wildcards to detect different ways that it can that um, the names of organisations and entities can be written incorrectly. And I've actually got more than 500 rules. Um, so let me now go to my own version and show you some of them. So let me show you one. Um, this one. You'll see that we saw some entries for the use of um, honorifics before these prefixes using, used in Arabic names. But actually, if we have the word miss, that should be flagged, right? Because with the UN, we, we, we don't use miss and misses, we only use mus. And this can actually only be checked with a wildcard rule. Why can't we add this to preferred spelling? Because uh, we need it to be case sensitive. Otherwise, every time we use the word miss, uh, like the verb to miss, to miss something, it's going to, we're going to get a false positive. There is a case sensitive option in always find, but that is case sensitive for the replacement, not for the find. Okay, so the only way to restrict it to, to miss written with a capital L M is to add it in wildcards. So this is quite a simple rule here. Um, let's look at the rule for the uh, Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework that I just mentioned. So let me, as you can see, I've got a lot of rules in here. Okay, so, um, so here I've got this uh, SMART rule that will look for UN or United Nations and um, so, so I've got this rule in here that will detect various ways that it can be miswritten. Um, I've got ones for checking uh, the word table. 
Okay, this one here. Um, here we're checking that um, table is lower cased uh, when we refer to the word table in the middle of a paragraph. Um, the, the word table shouldn't be capped in that context. And then I've, I've got one, for example, that checks that all tables are mentioned before they appear in the text. Um, so I've got one, um, I've got a check that looks, um, it uses something to identify if you're working on a masthead document. And if you are, it reminds you to put the underscores at the bottom of the document uh, that we have to do in uh, certain types of UN documents. So yeah, there are literally hundreds of checks in there and they're gonna make sure that your UN texts um, follow most of the, the style instructions. There are a few that we can't put into Perfected, but um, most of them we can find some way using wildcard of uh, checking that they're in there. And that's why I've literally got hundreds of checks in there. Um, if you don't work with the UN, um, if you come to the masterclass, I will show you how these checks works and you can see how to implement similar checks for your own style manuals that you work with. And you can ask me anything when you're, um, when you're in that masterclass and I will ex do my best to explain how to perform such a check uh, in Perfecting. And let me just mention one more thing that um, that I provide uh, in the in the style sheets, but actually this is a, a bonus. You can implement this yourself already. Have you ever started running Perfected, and then you get part way through and you realise you forgot to switch track changes on, and you're supposed to find uh, that uh, th you're supposed to have track changes switched on? Well, what I recommend for this, if you go to Always Find, and in hyphenation of uh, phrases, you add a rule. I've already got mine in here. You add a rule with the words and the. Now this combination of words is gonna come up in almost any text in English. Certainly anything over 200 words, you're likely to have the words and the in there. And you say to replace it with and the with a hyphen. Now obviously that's not something you're going to do. Um, that's why you should also add the words do not fix in the instructions. Um, but basically hyphenation of phrases is the first check that um, that perfect it performs and um, since it performs the checks in alphabetical order and the in the vast majority of text is going to be the first thing that comes up you might occasionally get something that um, comes before and the let's see if I've got any examples okay I mean I've g I've got um, maybe 25 or 30 pairs of words that would be flagged before and but most texts these are not going to appear and if they do you'll maybe only get one or two and then and there will come up so you're not going to have done dozens of changes before you're warned about track changes so um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend adding this to all your style sheets if it's a client that requires you to work with track changes. Add this, and the written as two words, replace it with and the with a hyphen, and then in the comments, um, you just add a note saying, um, you know, here I've got, this is a reminder to check that you switched on track changes. Um, Check the show notes below for more information about the masterclass where you'll get a copy of my um, of my version of the UN style sheet. I'll also be providing a couple of other style sheets, including the OECD. Um, and um, also information about the um, advanced word for editors um, workshop masterclass that uh, that goes kind of hand in hand with the perfected one thank you very much and um, I look forward to seeing some of you hopefully during the classes in March <laughs>